Hello beautiful people, it's Lindy Link and today I am going to be doing a questions and answers video. I posted on Instagram and Twitter for you guys to leave your questions for me. So today I have your answers. So we're gonna start with Instagram. How does the Kool-Aid man run through walls if he's made of glass? That's a very great question. I think the real question is, why is there a Kool-Aid man? Why is the pitcher alive? That's what I want to know. What was your first YouTube video ever? My very first YouTube video was with Maddie B. Raps. Some of you may remember that. It was price tag. It was a long time ago. <laughs> what is your favorite thing from In-N-Out? I love In-N-Out so much. I feel so passionately about this because I only get it when I'm in California. They don't have an In-N-Out here in Georgia, which makes me so sad. Georgia, you need to step it up. You need an In-N-Out. Uh, my favorite thing is the double-double with fries. If your life was a movie, would you watch it with your parents? Oh, hell no! I don't know anyone that would watch their entire life with their parents. When is new merch coming? New merch is coming very soon. I actually think it will be live by the time I post this video. I will link it down in the description below. This is the first time I've ever made hoodies and I'm very, very excited about it. I love hoodies so much. They're so comfortable. They go with everything. So I will be linking them in the description below if you want to grab your own <laughs> linker hoodie. Do you like Crocs? You know, I owned a pair of Crocs when I was little. Some good times. Will you be releasing an EP anytime soon? I am always working on music. I'm constantly songwriting. I'm constantly recording. I wouldn't say necessarily that I'm working towards an album or an EP right now. Right now, it's just singles. For now, I'm actually, I have my next single in place. I am working on like copyright and stuff like that right now and getting the artwork for it. So new music is coming very soon. If you could go back in time and say something to yourself, what do you want to say? I would say all of the things that you want in life and all of the things that you think are the most important thing and all of the drama and all of the things that you're feeling right now are not going to matter at all in five years. Your mind changes so much from the time you're in high school to in your 20s and what you want out of life and what drives you and what you feel like your purpose is. Just to say in the moment, I know things seem very heavy and like it's the end of the world and you're never going to feel okay. And that is not the case. You do make it to the other side, I promise you. That was the last for Instagram, so we are gonna head over to Twitter now. Any advice for a totally lost college student? <laughs> I've been right there with you. What I can say is you don't have to have it all figured out right now. You're still finding yourself, you're still figuring out what it is you want to do. Take your time, don't rush your life, you definitely by no means have to do everything the way society tells you that you have to do it. What's your favorite holiday and why? Anyone who knows me knows how much I love Christmas. Santa! Oh my god! I will seriously be singing Christmas songs in the middle of July. Christmas! What is your favorite movie and TV show? Well, favorite movie is a hard one because there's so many good movies out there and I feel like it kind of changes as I watch new movies. But favorite TV show, hands down, is Friends. That show will never get old. I can rewatch it 10 times and not be tired of it. I will still laugh at the same jokes because they're still just as funny as the first time I watched it. Oh my god. Any birthmarks? Right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's very tiny, like right there somewhere. And I do have a random patch of freckles on my leg. Which again, I don't even know if you can see this right here, but if you could dye your hair any color, what would it be? I would dye my hair red. Who would your dream duet be with? Carrie Underwood. What is the one thing that you can't ever be without? As sad as this sounds, it's my phone. <laughs> that is all the questions I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and comment if I answered your question. See you guys next time. Bye!